What up Africans? What up Nigerians? What up Ghanaians? What up South Africans? My people, how y'all doing? <laughs> I'm here with some real facts. Real, real facts. You understand? Yeah. And at the end of this video, Nigerians, Ghanaians, Africans, all of us, we have far more reasons to respect and celebrate Nigerians for what they are doing to Africa in general. You understand? Because the work that Nigerian entrepreneurs are doing for Africa is massive. As a matter of fact, in the recent months, hmm, Nigeria's export is becoming the backbone of the Nigerian economy. Nigeria exports of goods, products that are exported from Nigeria to the diaspora. And when I talk of export, I'm not, I'm not talking of export from Nigeria to Ghana. I'm not talking of exports, Nigeria, Cameroon, Kenya, all these African countries. No, I'm talking about Nigeria exportation to China, Nigeria exportation to Europe, exportation to the Caribbean Americans, exportation to Asia, exportation to other parts of the world, not Africa. And that is what is becoming a major backbone to the Nigerian economy. And a lot of us are putting a sleeping eye on this, but this is something that we need to start talking about. We need to start talking about what Nigerian businesses are doing, what Nigerian entrepreneurs are doing, breaking into the European markets, breaking into international markets, going global in the world, going at every level that Americans were going. Nigeria is the only African country. Nigeria is the only country, the only blacks in the world that have companies, that have businesses that are now competing at international level with top American companies, top European companies, top Chinese companies, and every other top company in the world. Nigeria is only, the only African country that is doing that right now. And most importantly, the only blacks in the world that are doing that right now are Nigerians. Isn't that interesting? Doesn't this make you feel proud as a Nigeria? Doesn't this make you feel happy as an African to see that finally, Africans can compete with, um, with Americans and Europeans in terms of business, in terms of productivity, in terms of, you know, economic output. Can't, this is what we have been dreaming for in a very long time. We have been dreaming for an Africa where African-made products can have the same value and stature that American products have as Europeans. This is the gateway to economic freedom. This is the gateway to political freedom. This is the gateway to the freedom that Africa wants because those who control the money, those who control the economy, those who control the financial industry, those who control the market are the real game changers in politics and in anything. The presidents, the politicians, they don't make decisions. They listen to these business giants. They listen to the mega business tycoons. These mega business tycoons are the ones who say to the presidents and the government, okay, we need to take this kind of decisions so that our product, so that our business, so we can make money because we are the one giving you money. We are the one paying you taxes. It's with our money that you use to run the country. So we have to, we are the ones to decide. We are the ones to tell you and advise you, okay, president, if you are not going to do this, we will fund the next guy and throw you out. <laughs> we will fund the next candidate and throw you out. And so this is a sign that Africa might soon be sitting on the big table discussing with the big boys. And once Africa gets to the big table and discuss with the big boys, then there is hope for Africa. Then there is a chance that we can be receiving the kind of respect that we Africans deserve finally in this world. You get the point I'm saying? So what are some of these Nigerian companies that are competing at the top level with Americans and Europeans? Which Nigerian businesses are at that level? And what is Nigeria exporting to Europe? What is Nigeria exporting to China? What is Nigeria exporting to America, the Caribbean and other parts of the world that is giving Nigeria that value, that growth, that power in the exportation market? First of all, you have to know that right now, Nigeria has an agreement with China in terms of food because China is a country with, with scientific, scientific incredibility. You, you cannot even, China is at the, is the level where science is in China. Their, their primary school children, what they are making, our university students in Africa cannot make. So Nigeria cannot export science to China. Nigeria cannot export food, natural resources. But at this time, 
Nigeria companies export because there's a difference between Chinese exploiting our products and taking them or Nigerian or African exploiting the product and selling them to Chinese. That's what Nigeria is doing. Nigeria has food and many resources they sell over there to the Chinese. Nigeria right now is having the largest gas reserves in Africa. Nigeria fuel companies, Nigeria petroleum companies, Nigerian oil companies are exporting oil to Germany, exporting oil to Mexico, exporting to Brazil, exporting to other parts of Asia, Jamaica, Jamaica and Caribbean Americans. Nigeria is exporting fuel to Europe. Europe is even coming to the level where they have to negotiate and sign agreements with Nigeria so that Europeans and Nigerians can do business together in the ECOWAS. That is to tell you that the level at which Nigeria is going is a level that very soon before Africans wake up, they will not believe where Nigeria is. Before Africans will blink their eye and, and start getting smart, Nigeria would have gone too far. Already as it stands, Nigeria is the only country in Africa that can survive without Europe because their industrialization is already at the toppest level. As a matter of fact, there's nothing that Europe can produce. When Louis Vuitton produces a new design of a bag, in 24 hours, Nigeria is producing the bag. When they produce anything in Europe, in America, 24 hours, Nigeria is producing. That's how China rose to power. And if Nigeria is taking those full steps, guys, trust me, there's a new power in the building. There's a new big boy in the house. There's a new power rising. And that power cannot be ignored because the market is there, the population is there, the intelligence is there, the hard work is there. And so Nigeria is definitely unstoppable, guys. It's only going to get better for Nigeria and Africa. The earlier Africans know this, the better for them. It is what it is, though. Your boy had your maxi on this one again. Guys, smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese.